Right, today we're going to be looking at importing files from uh, different locations into Dominion Server. Now the first thing I want to do on this computer is just to indicate to you this particular folder here that I've created, Dominion Share. And uh, this is a folder that I am sharing at the moment only with myself, but I want to add the Dominion Admin user on which I have installed the server to this uh, sharing permission and just want to ensure that I give read and write access to the uh, the user that the server is logging into. So I select share this folder and there you can see that's the address as well. Done and then as you can see down here I've also mapped a, a network drive to that folder just for easy access. Great, so now I'm going to go and show you just two different options when logging on to Dominion. So I've got two servers um, running. When you see here, I've got the server that's on the network location and then the server that's running on this computer as well. And I just want to show you what happens when you log on to different uh, locations, uh, you know, and what options are available for you during import. Okay, so firstly, we're going to log on uh, to, to the local server. Um, when I log on to that, you can see this is an empty catalog and when I select my images to add to the, the server and drop them onto the interface, you'll see that I've got an option at the top here that says add files to the catalog without copying them. Now this assumes that I'm going to be working on my files where they are located on the desktop here which is not the case for me. I actually want to move them to the shared folder on import. Now I can do that um, by using this option here that says copy to a shared folder and add to the catalog. Um, but before I do that, I just want to switch to the remote server and show you the differences in the options that are available to me. Okay, so I'm going to close this catalog and then when I log on to a Dominion server that's running on a remote machine, you will notice that the options are different when I try to import files. Now because this remote installation obviously does not have access to the local file system, you'll see the option there to add files to the catalog as they are, where they are, is not available here. You only have this option here to upload files to the server PC or to copy the files to a shared folder and to add to the catalog. Now that is the exact reason why I have created that share and shared it with these users. Okay, so we've uh, logged back into our local catalog here and I just want to go through the import process to a shared folder with you. So um, as we did before, we're going to select copy files to a shared location and add them to the catalog. We are going to browse to our shared folder where all the images are being stored. And on this PC, it is that map drive, Dominion Share. Um, now, pay attention to these options here. You've got the option to um, use predefined templates here to create a naming structure for yourself within that shared folder. And I prefer to use this one. Um, that sorts images by year and then by creation date. And then you also have the option to rename your files if you, um, you know, haven't renamed them. But as you can see from here, I've already renamed my file. So I'm just going to leave the original file name as my selected preset. And you can get an example of where the files are going to end up from there. And then hit the import button. Okay, and Dominion will cruise through all the files that I've selected. And while it's doing that, I would like to just show you what happens in that share. As you can see, as we've specified, the files are being imported and the folders are being created. So you can... Uh, browse through there and see where it's located all the files there we go our import is complete and if we right click and go locate in explorer it should open the exact same folder that we were browsing earlier 
to view the files.